So it was when I read the book, uh, Born to Run, that I realised that there was, you know, a, a more efficient way of running. And uh, it didn't explain how to, it kind of gave a few little tips or a few little sneak peeks about, about what it could be. And, uh, but basically it took, you know, the next a year to start developing, uh, you know, and learning just through trial and error, chatting along on my long runs with one of my good mates. And we would just chat for hours about running. And uh, that was how we developed our own sense of what, of what good technique is and uh, how we could improve the way that we ran. The key points that we, we uh, realized were that um, posture is most important. You know, if, if you drop your hips back, you slow down a lot. So you've got to stand tall, run proud with your chest up and feel as if you are very light on your feet that something's pulling you up into the air. So posture's first thing. Next most important thing was that where you're landing on the ground, where your foot's impacting, what's, what's happening. And uh, basically to, for it to be landing underneath you, um, you know, heel, forefoot, landing at the same time, but with more weight in the forefoot was uh, the way that body was meant to, meant to work, the way that we evolved. So lastly, cadence was the most important thing. And uh, cadence was defined by your arm carry. And if your arms move slowly or hung low and move slow, you know, your cadence was gonna be slow also. So we realized that cadence was driven by the arms and uh, just having really good arm carry and, uh, and a short little choppy motion with the arms kept the cadence up high. And if you're just running at sort of marathon pace, you know, you wanna keep them really close and relaxed and uh, keep the cadence up high. Specifics that got me to, to work on those three points, pretty much every single stride I'm thinking about that I'm relaxing those muscles that don't need to be tensed. So I can feel everything jiggling. I can feel my lats, my biceps, my forearms. I can feel the muscles jiggling that don't need to be working. The only muscle that's working is the core. So that's the, that was the main thing that I worked on is relaxing everything else while just having the core switched on. That way the foot can land naturally and relaxed. Um, you know, you're standing tall, your hips are forward and you're standing tall. And, uh, and your arms are relaxed and will have a good carry, all comes back to just having the core switched on and uh, having that belly button sucked in a little bit that helps everything else kind of find its place a lot easier. So, and then just thinking about kind of a systems check constantly while I ran every single stride, I thought and I do think about what's happening and I'd go from the feet up to my top of my head, nearly every single stride, where I can improve and what's getting tired, what do I need to work more on as another, as another muscle's getting a bit tired.